You know what day it is. The Pilot Cup 2s are off. The RE71s are on. You know what that means. We are ready to autocross. Before we leave today, I'm charging it to 96%. That's kind of high on a normal everyday usage, but I've got to go nearly 30 miles to the autocross track. So I'm just putting a little extra in. By the time I get there, I'll be probably 92%. And I just heard it click. We are charged 96%. All right, we are good to go. Car is loaded with everything I need at the autocross and got quite a bit of uh, distance to travel today. So let's hit the road. Yeah, I'm forced to take the back road here up through Saluda. They've got congestion all the way up Interstate 26. So we get to drive up the back road up through Saluda. Can't complain, it's actually really nice, but it's uh, longer and I've got to take it easy uh, here. So it's a lot of narrow roads and junk like that. But anyway, there you go. On the way to autocross. Yeah, we don't get a shot of this every day. This is uh, going north here through Saluda. Railroad town's been here a long time. If it looks familiar, it should be. It's in the movie of uh, Brother, where art thou? I'm working tech tonight. Richard's not here, and now I'm helping out, checking out cars. When you come to autocross, you got to make sure everything's tied down, brakes work, the wheels are on well, nothing's going to fly around in the car. So Raj and I, and uh, I think it's uh, Ed, forget, he's helping, so the three of us are going through all of the cars tonight, and they must all be checked unless they have a yearly pass, which means that we check them over well and they get a yearly pass. That's uh, tech here. Now you don't see that every day. An LTD, that's gonna be interesting. It's now 6.15 and uh, working through timing issues, that kind of stuff. Everybody out here, of course, walks the track, make sure they remember it the way it was be the last time they drove it. So this is uh, one benefit of a uh, paint protection film car. If you look close, lots of dust and dirt, and just dust a microfiber cloth. While it scratches the paint protection film, uh, as soon as it gets warm, the paint protection film will uh, recover and uh, be sh just as shiny as it was when it was installed. Then the magnetic numbers stick right on the fender. Just that easy. We come out of the start there, hard 90 to the right, come this way, and uphill. You go as fast as you can, do 180 up here. And then down and around, all the way down, crisscross right through here, and then go this way. It's really important when you are getting into autocross, of course, is you really need to walk the track several times. While you're not going to remember it, you'll actually kind of know what it looks like. And then when you drive it in the car at high speed, you'll actually remember some of the turns and things in your head. So the key to this turn, these two uprights, you just gotta put the car over here on this side and try to make this just a, a zig without a right angle. And you come on down, downhill of course. And get as close to this cone as you can because the object is you don't want to go and make a hard turn you want to make as easy a turn as you can so you get close there on the right and they actually put this cone right here by a 
looks like a manhole cover or something because you don't want to run over that come down and I won't walk all the way you go down around those cones turn to the right through the double uprights and then come this way and you got to go they changed it up just a little what they had been doing is you would come up the the hill here but you have to go a little further now and then up through the doubles hard to right about 45 jink left jink right and then go up to the finish line which is a hook to the left So it should be fun. Thing about autocross, if you've never done it, uh, you get out here and you just drive it as fast as you're comfortable. If you're not the fastest on the track, it's fine. The good part is, is uh, the next run will be faster. So there you go. Come uphill now, through the doubles. Hang a right and hook around to the left. And there you go. The end of the race. Scoreboard uh, is wireless. I don't see it. They now have it tonight. I don't know. It's over by that car. And you come through the magic eye, and there you are. End of the race. 35, 37 seconds. It's getting dark. Looks like street class, and I'm in what's called Super Street, is second. But check this out. Look at how many people tripped off the um, century mode. 17 events. I don't know if it was people parked next to it or just checking out the Tesla. Anyway, I'm in the uh, grid here now. I'm going to get out and go park in the back. I'm running second. But because I work grid, I don't have to work the field as a flagger or a runner out there. So that works out okay. I can have a little dinner. My wife made a uh, bagel turkey sandwich. Some looks like barbecue potato chips and a little Gatorade. It'll be a good dinner. And from here, I can kind of watch them start. And uh, when they're done running in the first group, a second group guys will stage and then we get to run. Looks like five runs tonight. Something else very cool in the Tesla is a web browser and the club has live timing. It's timing.hscc.club. And as everyone runs, you'll get to see their time. And then uh, uh, here, uh, Super Street, I've got, uh, let's see, this is from last time. Once uh, the race starts, we'll uh, see updated classes. But anyway, I get to watch it here on the screen.
now switch over time. The first run group will work the field. The second run group will run the uh, cars here now. We get to do five laps and everybody comes in here and we all stage right here. This run was uh, 38 and change. I'll look at it here. Kind of slow. I wasn't on it. I got to get to it. If track mode allows uh, it to be shown on my safety score, there you go. Over 1.3 G's, one direction, 1.2 in the other. That was an awesome run, 37.6. Pretty low number. I was really uh, putting the track mode to uh, the test here. Look at the G's, holy mackerel. There goes my safety score. If uh, the safety score is uh, still counted here uh, when I have um, track mode on, then I'm in trouble, at least here in the Model 3. So anyway, good, uh, good run. Thirty-seven six. Look at this. Holy mackerel! One over a one point four G's lateral. That's pretty wild. All right. Well, I'm gonna sit here and let it uh, cook with uh, the track mode cool things down. Uh, nothing's hot. It's such a short run. Thirty-seven point six. That was thirty-seven eight ninety. Running a little slow. And I think I hit a cone. Hopefully it stayed in its place. So that'll knock a point off. Let's check it when we get there. The G's. 1.4, 1.4, more than 1.4 lateral. So let's uh, see. This was run three. Well, it is true. I did hit a cone. One dead cone. It gave me an extra one second. Uh, 37.8, which is in the 37s, which is good. So if I can run clean, I think I can uh, beat old Sean there. But it's okay. One dead cone gives his life. Next run, run four. And then uh, one more after that for a total of five. 38 and change, sucked. Didn't uh, go over real well. It's all right. We'll uh, do better here on run five. All right, this is run four. Way over, it looks like a G and a half on the right. Well, over 1.4 on the left. So anyway, there you go. That was run five and it felt excellent and the time didn't show up on the screen. So I'm gonna have to look on live timing. Hopefully I uh, did well, we'll see. Run five. Eastbound now on Interstate 26, construction of course, and um, on autopilot. Tires make an interesting noise to them with the road surface. And autopilot handles the road construction just fine. Richard just called. Since he's laid up, he uh, wanted to know if I'd go over for a cup of coffee, and the answer is absolutely. So I'm headed to Richard. See what's going on over there. Well, that's it. Just about home. It's uh, 12:27. Kind of late, but it's the way it is. Autocross is I don't know 35 miles north here. Went and stopped at Richard's. Uh, he was uh, kind enough to make us uh, breakfast. Normally we go to Cracker Barrel with the guys, but he and uh, John from Tennessee couldn't make it. So he surprised me. He said, come over for coffee. So I did, and pancakes were there, and had a little pancake and sausage and, uh, and some coffee. So it was really a nice treat from Richard's place there. Yeah, it was a good evening. Um, what I noticed was uh, Sean and the McLaren. Uh, I'd never seen him drive that well before. It was certainly his night. 
you beat me by 367 milliseconds for our class, which is Super Street. And that's fine. I'm uh, happy to uh, see him do well this, uh, this time. Normally, uh, we usually uh, kick his butt. Both Richard and I are all in the same class. But it was nice to see he did well. Typical uh, good time on that track is 37, 36 seconds, which is pretty darn fast. I turned several 37s, and I think uh, we'll have to see with the compiled results uh, tomorrow. Uh, but I would bet I'm in the top 10 of uh, all the cars out of 60 to 70 fossil fuel cars. So I had a good night. I didn't uh, beat my class, but I'm glad Sean did. Anyway, uh, that'll about do it. Thanks for uh, hanging out in uh, autocross tonight. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to not miss anything going forward. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you again, and take care.